Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the flyweight bout between Rick Sentai Zenitum versus um, Andre Lima. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going average confidence. I said confidence. Average confidence. Um, Rick Sentai Zenitum to beat Andre Lima. So we got two big... Um, Flyways going in there right now. Both of them like five seven, and they went on a good night. Um, Lima was like five nine. They at least one, um, one um, of these fights he was in. They say he listened to him at five nine. So, you know, if he stretches well enough, he might come in five nine and be a super big um, flyweight. But it is what it is. They both like bigger flyways, like five seven and five seven. But um, only I only got um, Lima's really five seven or five nine because in his last fight he didn't look that big or one of these fights he didn't look that tall. So he might be a case of a stat pattern as far as height. I think he might be like 5'6", five, 5'5", five, five maybe, but we'll see. Matter of fact, he's probably about 5'6". But, um, yeah. Um, Rickson, Ty Zanidium, huh. going average confidence here. I just feel like um, as far as Andre Lima goes, I feel like on the feet he look a little bit stiff. He definitely got some power. Definitely not, not technical on the feet. So he got the skills, but he's not as loose or as technical or as smooth as striking or as long and lengthy and explosive with his striking consistently to the level that um Zenidium is. Um he probably is the better grappler, probably. But oh, it's an MMA fight in day. Like probably this, probably that. The better overall fighter is Rick Zentai Zenidium. I think it's all gonna start on the feet. Everything starts on the feet. He's a smoother striker and he definitely can hold his own with um um, Lima on the ground. And on top of that, I think he clears him on the feet. Just got to avoid getting caught with big shots and just stay technical, stay um, clean and, and like avoiding getting caught. He did get dropped in his last fight once. That's my really my main concern here. But outside of that, I think he should be able to address their grappling. I think he's a much technical striker. Just really got to avoid not getting too comfortable out there and elite getting lax. But outside of getting lax, he's just clearly, in my opinion, a better fighter, better overall fighter and then the much more polished fighter. I think he'll be able to mix the striking in well, mix the grappling in well, wear him down on the feet, you know, kind of chew him up on the feet a little bit, then look to transition and drag him to the mat and tap out um, Lima. So I think it's going to be a full-fledged mixed martial arts fight. I think going to be competitive, but I think um, Zenidium just going to be a, a level above and he's going to be able to get it done. So better on the I mean, better on the feet, definitely. Better overall, definitely. And I think he'll be able to wear him down on the feet which will allow him to drag to the mat or at least finish the fight on the mat, whether it be dropping him to the mat or whether it be like, you know, get him to shell up and then drag him into the mat and then some extra ground to pound, then setting up the submission and tap him out second round. So in this one, I have Rickson, Ty, Zendium via second round submission.